Hey guys, it's me Megan Hashem and today I wanted to talk a little bit about being inspired, getting inspired, getting motivated, figuring out what you want to do and what I learn about that whenever I go away on vacation. Every time I go on vacation to some beautiful beach destination, I start thinking, oh, if I lived here, if I lived here on the beach in Aruba or St. Bart's or St. Martin, if I lived here, I would have the perfect life. I would do this, this, and this. This would be my business. My life would be perfect. And I think we all go through this sometimes. It doesn't even have to be when you're on vacation. You could think, if I lost 50 pounds, my life would be perfect. If I moved away to another country, my life would be perfect. I think people fall into this often. And it's always when I go on vacation, I start thinking these things. I start thinking, oh my gosh, I would do this and I would do that and I would have this business and I would, I would do all these things and it would make everything perfect. And then I start to think realistically, what would I tell someone if they were telling me this? Like people have told me, if only I could move away, everything would be perfect. And I'm like, really? Or would it, right? Like if you're not doing all the things you think you'd be doing there here, like why not? Why not do all those things here? So I came back from my trip once again, it, super inspired me because I thought, okay, think about all the things you thought you'd be doing there. Over in St. Bart's, what would you be doing? What would make your life perfect? How would you be a boss? How would you be some big businesswoman? Those were the things that were going through my, my mind. Other than, of course, gorgeous weather. We don't have that here in Canada trying to embrace the cold and loving it, but okay, we don't have beachy weather year round. That is a truth and something that I will never have staying in Canada. That's something I'm used to, okay. But all the other side of things, all the other things, houses, jobs, careers, thoughts, body, everything, all that stuff I could do here. I could do it all here. There's nothing stopping me and that made me think. Why am I holding back here? Why am I not living my dreams right now, right here? Sometimes it seems like a big scary leap or there's, there's, it's such a big thing, you don't wanna do it. Um, and you think, oh, if only I lived over there. But that's just kinda like saying, I'm never gonna do it. Um, because not saying that you won't move to a beach or you won't move across the country and restart your life. I'm not saying that at all. Of course you could, anyone could. We can move the next day. I've known people to you know, throw their life away here and just go. And that's awesome if that's your thing, if that's gonna make you happy and that's gonna make your life perfect. But I think a lot of the times we think, if only, if only I live there, everything would be perfect. But would it? Because you'd be stuck with the same things you're doing, the same attitudes, the same limiting beliefs, the same everything. So we gotta tackle those first. So I thought, let me think about all the things I th thought I would be doing if I was in a beautiful beachy city what would I be doing exactly what are those dream world thoughts and how can I do them here and now how can I do them in my life now very I can be doing them of course it's not because it's some other country or I have a different body or I have a ton of money all those things that people think well if only if only I had a bikini bod if only I lived in the south of France <laughs> whatever it is um, stop thinking those things and think okay yes if only you had all those things what would you be doing what would you be doing what business would you be in what would you be doing with your life would you be having kids would you you know what is it that you'd be doing if you had that different circumstance and even if you don't go on vacation you can put this to work you know going on vacation does put you in a different place number one you're not thinking about all the daily stresses you're usually thinking about um, you're in a different environment it changes up what you're thinking it changes up the routine you're not just stuck in the daily grind of your life you're kind of having a moment to think about things, reevaluate things, stuff like that. So vacays, of course, can help. I think they're really useful for that. But say you can't go away on a vacation, you can still think about all these things I'm talking about. You could just take a day and take a little staycation, just be at home, be with yourself, 
Think about what you really want in life, whether it's your body goals or your career goals or your family goals. There's so many different avenues. Right now, I have all the family goals I want. I love where I'm at with my family. I still have some body goals. I still have some fitness goals. I still have some a lot of career goals, a lot of hobby goals, many goals like that that I am thinking about now after this vacay. Um, so you don't have to go on a vacation. You could just sit and think. You could just you know, be with yourself. You could be exposed to other things. You could talk to people. There's so many different ways to get there. Keeping your mind open to not always thinking, well, if only this, I could do this. Now, as soon as you start thinking that, think, no, if only that, what is it you would do if only fill in the blank? If only you lost 50 pounds, what would you do? And start doing it in small ways now. Maybe you can't do it fully, but start doing something in a small way. So me, I think, oh, if I lived there, I would have my own swimsuit line and my own yoga clothing line. And I would be the editor of that beautiful magazine I read. And I would have a studio, all these things. Well, guess what? A lot of those things I could be doing here. It doesn't have to be some dream. You can live your dreams. And yes, it might not start in a huge way right now. I might not be able to do all those things all at once. But you can start thinking of a plan to slowly get you to all those dreams. If it's a body goal, say you're like, I want to, you know, sit on the beach looking awesome in a bikini and be some, I don't know, Instagram model in my bikini every day. That might not be right away, but start taking the steps, start taking the steps. Whatever's important to you, that might have sounded like a ridiculous goal to you and that's fine, everyone's got different goals. So whatever your goals are, start thinking about them. You don't have to live in another country or flee your whole old life to start a new life. You can deal with your old life and start improving on it and making it go towards what you want it to be, right? So that's just a quick little video here kind of saying, you know what? Circumstances don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be lying on a beach. That wouldn't make your life totally better. Trust me, uh, all the same problems would follow you because it's all in your head. So start thinking about that. I just came up with this thought and I've thought it before on vacation where I'm like, you know what, what's stopping me from doing all those things here in my life, in Canada, not on a beach, do all those things. Obviously not everything can be like that, but the big thoughts, the big business ideas and lifestyle ideas can be done right here where I'm at without the dream, because that's just an excuse. Oh, I, if I lived there, everything would be perfect. People think that all the time, and that's why people move a lot of the time. Everything would be perfect, but do their lives change in a huge way when they leave where they're at? Not always. So just some food for thought, and we'll talk soon. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and talk to you later, guys. Bye.